Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is now time for the best real estate podcast online. It is time for Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live with Mike and Dave Elkins presented by Elite Realty Group. Well, we're going to give you a little bit of real estate in. We're going to try to take a deep breath here, okay, let's right? Take a deep breath. We're going to we're going to try to give you Game a little face. bit as we always do. Give you some good real estate information today. Again, the question that we're talking about today is being a for sale by owner type of home. We get a lot of questions about these types of homes. How do you sell them? How do you go about it? So on and so forth. So we're going to talk about a little bit of those. The topic is we're going to give you three reasons why if you are trying to sell your home by yourself. If they're a for sale by owner. Yeah. Which is totally okay by exactly. the way. Totally. We want you to know that is perfectly fine. Hit it man. But we want to give you three reasons today why you should consider cooperating with a realtor. Now notice I did not say list your house with a realtor. That's right. You did not. I said cooperating with the realtor. Yeah, there's right? a difference. A lot of people People will not tell you that you can just cooperate. They'll they'll say you got to list. You got to list. It with you them. don't have to list. Mm-mm. No, you do not have to list your house with a realtor. Although you may want to explore that, and that's something that you can do at the right time. Right. But we're going to give you today three reasons why you want to cooperate, not list. That's what I, I probably need to put that on there because yeah. somebody ever sees this and they're just going to think we're saying list it. No, we're saying cooperate with a realtor. So we're going to give you three of those reasons today. We would love to hear from you guys what you think about these three reasons. So here's number one is, here's the number one reason why you should cooperate with a realtor is you want to sell your home. That's right? it, isn't that right. just simple? That's, that's a hold you down, smack you in the yeah, mouth. Right that's there, just right? very yes. simplified and you think, well, if you want to sell your home, that's key too. You, yes. you mean, if you're just playing with the market or there whatever, that's different. But if you want to sell your home by cooperating, yes. there's the key word, not listing, cooperating. Not listing. Yes, we're we're going to talk to you this. about more what that is maybe here in just a little bit. But by cooperating, all you want to do is is see what's going on. You right. know what? You're wanting to sell your home. Home. Realtors come to work every day, and what do they want to do? They want to sell. A they home. want to sell a home. Yes. So it's like the perfect match made. Yeah. You know, yeah. you've got the home. They they want to sell homes. You guys need to talk right. about you it should and see talk. who can help who. Because yeah. as you being a for sale by owner, you've got what a realtor wants. Right. A realtor has what you want. Yeah. Right? right. So that's the number one reason why you should at least cooperate. Think about have a conversation. You know, the greatest thing about it is it does not cost you anything at all it's to have a conversation. It is to free. just have a conversation and say, hey, how can we help yes. each other? Yes. You know, they say the biggest lack of anything, the biggest breakdown in society whatsoever, it doesn't matter. Take the field, take the industry, take a relationship, it does not matter. But the biggest reason for failure is lack of communication. That's right. There's, people just don't talk. They right. don't know. Right. But again, you are trying to do the same exact thing. Right. So the number one reason you should consider cooperating with a realtor, and I want to say again, not listing your house. But cooperating with a realtor is is because you have a home to sell. Right. Right. Exactly. You want to sell your home. They go to work every day and want to sell homes. Right. It's the perfect match. Right. Got anything to add to that? No. All right. So you want to sell your home. That's number one. What's number two? Is? Well, say my number two ties in with your number one is realtors have buyers. Absolutely. That's what you kind of what you were saying. Yes. They, so okay. I've got what you need. Absolutely. You're looking to sell. Yes. I've got a database right here on this computer mm-hmm. of people that signs up on my website and stuff that's looking for homes. Absolutely. Of over 3,000 people. Yes. And honestly, right now in our marketplace, and it's not just our marketplace, but it's all over the country, but right now, especially here in the Lakeway area, there's not enough homes there's listed for sale. There's not enough homes for sale. That's there's right. not enough homes, but people are still working with the agents, if that makes sense. Right. People People still working with a realtor as the buying, right. as representing right. them as a buyer, they're working with realtors. I think I said this maybe in another show, but I probably sold more for sale by owner homes last year than I've ever sold. Well, I know I did. I yes. know for a fact I did. But I'd say office-wide, we've probably done the same thing. Oh, yeah. I'd say we sold more for sale by owner homes last year yeah. oh, no than doubt. we did any yeah. other year. There's no doubt about it. So, yeah, we should talk. Like and that, said, again, that's we didn't list We did them. not list it. And I tell people, and I, uh, this might be shooting myself in the foot, but I tell people a lot, 
yeah, if you want to, if you want to do it yourself, that's fine. You can market it. You can that saves me money. Absolutely, just allow me to come out here and show it and sell it. Yes, absolutely. Right. At the end of the day, they got the home. You we got, got the, home. the buyer. I got the buyer. We, we need to match talk. that up. We need I, to. You should match that I up. I told them it just makes sense for us to talk. And it doesn't cost anything again to have that conversation. That's right. right. That's right. So number one is you need to consider cooperating because you ha- you want to sell your house. If you want potted meat, you go to Food City. I read a stat this morning. The potted meat came. <laughs> I just, I just caught that. Yes. I read a stat this morning that 92% of homes that are being sold right now on the market, 92% of 92%. homes are being sold with realtor representation somewhere. Yeah. Not necessarily selling side or buy, but there are 8% homes that are being sold are being sold as a for sale by owner. Right. So you're giving yourself a 92% chance, better chance. Right. If you cooperate with the realtor to get your home cooperate. sold. Cooperate. Cooperate. Not necessarily. Not necessary. list. Cooperate. That's the key thing. Yes. We're giving you today three reasons why if you're trying to sell your house by yourself, you should consider cooperating with a real estate agent. It's also a proven fact that real estate agents can help you get more for your home. That's right. That's right? right. That's right. So again, that's all yeah. good stuff. Right. That's all good stuff that a conversation would solve, at least have the conversation. Because at the end of the day, guess who the boss is? They are the people, the client, the sale by owner. You can always say, you know what? This doesn't fit in my box. Yeah. yeah. This isn't working out how I think it's going to work out. I think I'll just continue to do it. Yeah, and a lot of times I've heard this. People think because they do sign with a realtor or whatever to list, they think that they're losing control. They're not the boss no more. Right. You are hiring Yes. If you choose to list, oh, yes. you are hiring yes. a realtor. They can be fired at any time. Any time. Yeah. And that's all yes. to you. You're, you are the boss. You are the boss. The realtor works for you. That's right. So again, we're giving you today three reasons why if you're trying to sell your home or know someone or ever decide to try to sell your home by yourself, you should at least consider cooperating with a real again, estate agent. Or my realtor. point was we got buyers. Mm-hmm. If you're really wanting to sell... At least have a conversation. Sense to talk. Yes. It would just make sense. Have a to conversation. Talk. If you've just joined us, which I see the crowd's jumped up just a little bit, we got a fun poll question today. In addition to giving you some good information, we can got I, a can I, throw, can I throw my like share and invite? Go up ahead, there? man. Okay, again, throw it out there. We got a big crowd. Yeah, we're going to make up like share and, and invite T-shirts. Yes. We're going to throw a harp on. Right. But in our last three shows, because of you guys' likes, shares, most importantly, and invites we've mm-hmm. had in our last three shows. We've reached over 30,000 30, people. So about yeah. 10,000 people awesome. an episode. That's awesome, by the way. The last three is averaging about 10,000 an episode. Yes. Because you guys are like, share, and invite. So everybody that's watching right now, take two seconds out of mm-hmm. your time and and share this. Yeah, just share it. Share it. Just share it out. Share it anywhere that you want to share it, and we would really appreciate that today. But we got a fun poll seconds. question. It takes two yeah. seconds. We got a fun poll question today that a lot of people have already participated in, and if you just come in, we want you to participate in. But we want to know today, what is your favorite memory of your childhood home place? You try right? Yeah. What is your favorite memory, or memories, they've been people give us more. We've went from playing in the snow to eating potted meat sandwiches right. to, again, playing in the creek, playing in the woods, having flashlight tag. We've heard all of that today. Right. But if you've not put your answer in the box, we Let's want to hear from you today. What's yeah. your favorite childhood What's your memory? your favorite memory of your, of home your childhood home place? That's our poll question. Play the game with us and put that in the box today. We've also learned what a holler is. Right. right? right. We've learned what a holler is. <laughs> and how to spell about. it. <laughs> yes. We have talked about. we've got people like Fred Bentley and Ronnie Blankenship, people like that's joining. Yes. Uh, Sabrina, not, they know Sabrina's what a holler on, is. Angie Sparks is on. They, yeah. Them people know what hollers are. They know are. what hollers are. So we want you to tell us what is your favorite memory of your childhood home place from back in the hollers or wherever it was that you were raised up. We've talked about two of the three reasons. We're going to give you the third one now. Before we take a quick commercial break, we still got the home of the week you're going to want to pay attention to. If you thought about Lakeview Lake Homes in Tennessee, Lake you're access. going to want to participate, but you're going to want to pay attention to this lake home today that we're telling you about. But again, three reasons. Here's the third and last reason why if you're for sale by owner, you want to, you want to ac- actually think about have a, a cooperating with a real estate agent. Again, we're not saying list. Right. So here's the third. Depending upon your agreement with them, again, Dave said, we got buyers, you got the house. Agreements are made. That's why they're there, right? Put them in writing, they're made. But depending upon your agreement with the realtor, you still may not have to pay any 
commissions. That's right. That's right. You may not have to pay anything for that realtor that's to right. bring you back. Now, you can't beat that deal. No. no. You cannot beat that. Right. If you're for sale by owner, you want to get your house sold, one of the reasons you probably don't want to have a realtor is you don't want to pay a commission. Exactly. So you can actually have your cake and eat it too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, you can get somebody that's got, again, a database of buyers wanting to buy homes in your area, in your price and range. And you might not even have to pay them. You might not even have to pay them. That's how, how does that happen? That, that, how that, does that happen? That's great. Yeah, that's great. But again, that's why people need to sit down and have that conversation. Yes. All it takes is a ten-minute conversation. Again, with someone with a real estate agent or realtor, it takes a ten-minute conversation, and all that information can be explained to you. And again, if it doesn't fit where you like it. Don't do it. You're the boss. Right? Don't do it. That's right. Again, that's three reasons a day. Let's recap before we take a commercial break. Three reasons why, if you're a for sale by owner, you could you, you should consider cooperating with a real estate agent. Number one is is because you want to sell your home. Number two is because realtors have what you need, and that's people wanting to buy a house. The third reason is, depending upon your agreement with that real estate agent or realtor, you may not have to pay a commission. And I'll say this back to about number one. Again, and I would even recommend you even speak to a realtor if you're not seriously wanting Wanting to to sell sell. your house. Especially right now. Right. Because there's a really good chance it's going to sell if you speak to one of them. Especially right now. Absolutely. We thank each and every one of you for listening to today's podcast. Tune in for future episodes by subscribing to our channel and get the latest and greatest real estate information right here on Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. Until next time, have a great and blessed day.